and David's teammate, Jonathan Ross. Oh! <laughs> Jonathan was awarded an OBE in 2005, which just goes to show how hard it is to take back an OBE. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, we're on the same team. <laughs> no, but it's true. No. <laughs> Jonathan owns a number of exotic pets, including an iguana. Brightly coloured, with soft, leathery skin and a bulging neck, Jonathan is one of the most distinctive faces on television. <laughs> Well, very funny, Jimmy, but the iguana's dead, and you raised Dave as a joke. You are a terrible person. <laughs> I, I went for iguana, you went with... Dave. What, <laughs> how did you pronounce iguana? Well, it, it had its... iguana. You okay. did say iguana the first. I you can... <laughs> preferred iguana. I thought, I I thought was... you were getting it right. I, I thought you were He's dead! Does it matter? <laughs> Jonathan, have you got a mascot? The one I thought I was grabbing today, I, I grabbed the wrong mascot. I was going to grab my mother-in-law knitted for me. Uh, you know uh, Atom Boy, or the Mighty Atom, the Japanese character invented by the great Osamu Tezuka? Sure. Uh, she knitted it for me, and she had a little voice box put inside it. She got a Japanese woman to say a message to me in Japanese. I think it says, because it's my mother-in-law, keep your hands off my daughter's vagina. But I'm not positive. <laughs> <laughs> However, I grabbed the wrong toy and I got this instead because I got a lot of and I got this which was a much loved uh, pirate I had as a as a youngster. Captain Scurvy. Uh, <laughs> I like him. He did have an eye patch as well. What's awful is the eye patch has been pulled off to reveal nothing underneath <laughs> it. I mean you, you expect them to be at least a socket. What that they would sew in an empty socket well, on a children's toy. Yes, they've given him a wooden leg. <laughs> You got a mascot this evening. Yeah, I have got a mascot. There. That's got? a mascot. I bought a mascot in. I bought something quite rare. As you know, I'm a collector. I collect comic books, love all things like that, and I also collect toys. I have yeah. a particular frame of reference: Japanese toys from the 1960s and 1970s. In particular, the toys from the companies Bulma, Poppy, Gogokin, and uh, Takara. <laughs> so, are you also a part-time snooker referee? Well, no, because, <laughs> because this is a very valuable little item I'm bringing out for you, and I'm, got, I'm showing it the respect it deserves. <laughs> if I can get my glove on. Are we playing an airport again? No, 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 no. <laughs> OK, so this is uh, Takara Mikuro Man from 1970. Oh, <laughs> 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 he's about 50 years old, so his hips aren't as strong as they used to be. <laughs> OK. And uh, these come from a Mikura Man, which we pronounce Micro Man. Oh, these are the original Micro Yeah, these are the original ones. And what I love about them, A, they're incredibly great toys. They're a beautiful looking little toy. Uh, but when they bought them out, they bought out about ten in the first one. So the Japanese company gave them all names. Can you guess what this one's name was? Um, is it Jeff? Because he looks like he's dragging <laughs> two bags and he's coming out the airport and his taxi's not arrived. <laughs> John, yeah. do you have a mascot? Well, at the moment, I am home alone. My wife has not been with me for over two weeks now. My wife and daughter, because she's out in Toronto, my daughter's doing some work experience, and she's still out there. I'm still doing work experience in Toronto? Yes. I did it at Quick Fit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having some great experiences. Some things are planned, some aren't, and obviously I've been drinking more than I usually would just to take away the sting of loneliness. Um, <laughs> but, like, a week ago, I came home and there was a box in the hallway that had been delivered during the day while I was out, and I thought, I don't know what this is, and I started opening it up, got out of the box, and it's only when I got it out I realised it was the night I was watching Kill Bill at home, and this is true, watching Kill Bill on my own, and after it finished, I decided I had to have the Samurai sword from Kill Bill. <laughs> That was what was waiting for me when I got home. And it's so sharp, I'm not allowed to get it out in the studio. Really? Yeah, it's proper sharp. All I've used it so far is cutting up apples. <laughs> okay. But I keep it in the kitchen, because that's where we keep the knives. But my wife, I don't know what she's going to think when she comes home, because... Well, could you get a really massive knife block? <laughs> and just slide it in and see if she notices? Or a sword in the garden and pretend I'm King Arthur. <laughs> Hey, Jonathan, have you got a mascot? I brought a mascot in. This isn't the mascot, in actual fact. This is to demonstrate the mascot. I should explain why I have this item with me, because hopefully it's going to bring me not luck, not just this evening, but in the future, is that we're redecorating our house at the moment because all my children have left home. I'm that age now. And when the kids leave, they take a lot of their stuff, but they didn't take any of their pets. OK, so we've now got something like... We've got seven dogs, we've got five cats, we've got two snakes, we've got one pig and a lot of fish. And the cats have got territorial with each other, and one of them is pissing everywhere. He's just pissing <laughs> everywhere. He's spraying all over the place. It's clearly a protest. He even got on the duvet and pissed on the duvet while I was in the bed the other night. <laughs> and then he went round the corner and he lifted his tail up and he pissed directly into an unused plug and fused the power on the whole floor. <laughs> And it was still pissing. Smoke was coming out behind him. I was kind of hoping the electricity would go up the stream of piss and kill the little fucker, but it didn't. <laughs> so we got a cat psychologist in. Of course, came yeah. round and she said, you know what the problem is? Your cat's pissing everywhere. That was about <laughs> what he got for that money. 
Yes. So my wife went online and she found there's another possible solution to that, which I've brought with me, and this is my good luck uh, thing this evening. It's a cat nappy. <laughs> You've seen these before. <laughs> of course I have, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing one right now. But the thing is... <laughs> Is this a genuine thing you can buy? Yes, it is. But the weird thing is, I read the booklet <laughs> on it. It's, it's tricky. I than mean, it looks. you've read the booklet in a hurry by the looks yes. of things. Yes. <laughs> I think you need that air, that bit down. Stick, get away from it! Just that bit down. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, so, look, done it, done it, We're done not going to get on tonight. Done I can it, tell. Done it. I'm weirdly aroused. Oh, look, there you go. <laughs> there it is, Jimmy. I put it on successfully. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan's cat nappy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to swim a foot and I got one. <laughs> <laughs> one time for the first game, John and Jonathan, you get the first pick of the letters. You, do you want to go first? You please pick the letters. Can, I'd like to start with a consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Jonathan. Start with R. Just ah. <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I use that in a word and I successfully pronounce it, can we get an extra point? Sure. <laughs> Susie, what's the hardest word in the English language to pronounce? OK, I'm not going to look at Jonathan for this one. Um, the hardest... <laughs> <laughs> well, he any, found anything with an R. That's it. <laughs> Start with four, are we, and work our way up. <laughs> Here's a real bitch of Christmas. Forever watch that... Those ones. <laughs> 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 I can't believe it. I have to say... Oh, I call them... Yes, from Rice, do you want any chocolate? Say, Give me some of those ambassador ones. <laughs> uh, what the? Jonathan, how many letters? <laughs> I remember that's how we first met when you wanted to get in the show business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've watched this game. Yeah. Okay. What, what and I think going from two from the top, yeah. you give yourself too many big numbers, don't you? And that's tough. I think one's easier than one. Two. Yes, one exactly. Or maybe even none from the top, and only like no, no, two from none. the bottom. <laughs> not none. You need a big one. Do I need one big no, one? None yeah. from the top's quite We've hard. We've got one from the top. Well, it's not your safe. choice. It's not your fucking choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's just you do what you want. One from the top, John. please, Rachel. One from one the top. From you, you... It's just one. We just want one number. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to it works out. Right, one large. You've gone easy. You've lost your nerve. One large, five, No, small. then change it, then. All from the top. All from the top. <laughs> I can't from one. I can't. All from, from the one top. Except from one up. You can't change it. So the target was 883. Did you, uh, did you get it, Jonathan? Oh, I thought I had it, but did they change the top number? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you change the top number? Because it was too easy, so we said we're going to change it's the number. too easy! But I got, I got that one. I was really excited. You and got 136. Yeah, and then I relaxed. <laughs> How can this be fair? You go on about the rules. Oh, the rules, the rules, the rules. Don't change the fucking rules then. Well, I, get it. I got it. Uh, Jonathan, did you get uh, it? Well, I did it wrong because I. That's I almost... a no then, isn't it? Oh. Well, no. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, you're eight. Unloader. Oh. oh. That's that's pretty good. Well done. I think it's in. Great one. It's Thanks. in. It's in. <laughs> pretty impressive. I'm going now. You've been a lovely crowd. I'm not going to get the I've done. I'm not going to drop it. I'm not going to drop it. I think he's made the right decision to go now. He's not going to get a nine. <laughs> uh, David, Susie, could they have done any better than that? Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, we had to, we had a much more boring eight, didn't we? It's sorry to interrupt, but John, Jonathan, have you noticed nobody's trying to get you back? <laughs> Right, before we get on with the game, uh, time for a quick bonus round. Tonight's prize is the Countdown Ball Pit. So Jonathan and John are going to be going head-to-head -head in the Countdown Ball Pit Challenge. Come and join me. OK, uh, I'm going to give each of you a nine-letter word. All you need to do is find the letters that spell out that word in the ball pit. Whoever gets the word first gets the bonus points. OK, Jonathan, your word is poppadoms. Poppadoms. So you've got to find poppadoms in there and spell it out there one ball at a time. John, your word is secateurs. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's you... in the front. I'm waving to you from underneath this ball sack. <laughs> Enjoy this moment! Um, um, 
<laughs> OK, uh, all the letters are in the pit somewhere. Good luck. Uh, away you go. Thank you. <laughs> this is entertainment. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things on this show. Jonathan, you got their first five points to Jonathan right. and Johnny. Thank you. Huge, huge girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that was very dignified, gentlemen. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to British Television, Michelle. <laughs> I was just noticing how uh, traditional of an English body you have. <laughs> <laughs> In what way? Long, long, skinny, spindly legs. <laughs> I get quite a lot of compliments uh, uh, about my legs from many of the fellas. <laughs> what was what did you think I was built like? <laughs> oh, a no. smart person. <laughs> <laughs> John, you're seven. Uh, sexiest. Oh, uh, Johnny, what have you got? I've got a sexiest. You've got sexiest. <laughs> I went for sexiest. Yeah, I, I, had I, I had it. Look, the, yeah. the sexiest. Was, yeah. Well done, Johnny. OK, Jonathan, what's your risky eight? Where are we in the scores? If my eight is an actual eight, where are we in the scores right now? It's a crucial conundrum, whatever no. happens. Yeah, but uh, how many points do you get if you win the, the, the thing? <laughs> it's an eight. <laughs> Ten. Ten. He's within his right to ask before we go... Yes, I am within letters. my right. You know what? You've inspired me. Two seven letters and a five. Exactly. That has never happened. I've seen you. That's what you need to, boss. <laughs> Okay, well... If you need anyone's car stolen, I'm your man. <laughs> Go on, what have you got? Sureties. Sureties. I didn't think anyone was going to get that. That is brilliant. Come on! Thank you, Sergeant. Because we could not have done that unless we would have done it. Exactly. Me you are you. the wind beneath my wings. It, we, we're like... <laughs> I feel like you're hating without yeah. a van and two other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you use that word in a sentence, it would be, is that something we should look into after in terms of the piece of paper Susie gave to Jonathan? <laughs> sure it is. Let's... <laughs> no one likes a bad loser, John, especially one who's eaten all the cakes and drunk all of Daddy's whiskey. Johnny, what did you just eat there? What's the... Shh. <laughs> you just... What did you just... <laughs> Tastes papery. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Jonathan? No, I just, I just wondered if it tasted, <laughs> if it tasted papery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some evidence being consumed. No, there, no, 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 no. <laughs> Daddy, we're safe. You can spit out because no one's going to read it. 